With five years since the original release of Mixtape Massacre, we thought it was a good time to take some of the fan feedback we've received over the years, as well as some of the notes we've made playing the game for the last five years, and make some improvements. So in this video, we're gonna go over the updated mechanics and new upgrades that we've added to the game. So one of the first things out of the box that we wanted to update was the amount of movement dice. Yeah. Um, so we, we went to two, um, and the thought process behind that was players would move faster and farther yep. um, per turn, but also that in turn on killing sprees... Yeah, we're now going to just be... It's just going to go as is. It's not... No double. Or no double anymore. Yeah. You're just going to keep your turn going. And then also with, with that same uh, mechanic at play, what we're really going to be pushing for is less returning to start. Yeah, I think that was a big, Com a big uh, complaint yeah. with everyone that's played, um, and we understand it. We definitely, definitely understand that. So that's something that we wanted to update for sure, and that goes into our new running scared mechanic. Exactly. So yep. when entering locations and playing with um, a killer scene. A lot of times the rule sets were if you drew a defense card, lost or win, you would stay in the location, yeah. but on a killer scene, if you lost, you'd be returning to start. Yeah. So people who lost continually were continually returning to start uh, or to a starting location. Mm -hmm. So instead, what uh, the mechanic we came up with, and it's very much, uh, the idea behind it was very much taken from actual horror films where yeah. that if a killer fails in killing, most of the time that... Um, that victim is then running to another location in the movies or running away. Running away, yeah. yeah. So, in general. <laughs> so the running scared mechanic is the idea that um, if, a, if a player is in a location and fails on making a kill, what they're, what's going to happen is, is that token is then actually going to move to another location. And those are going to build up in locations and become like a cash cow for other players to go into and attempt for. Um, but the other nice thing about that is, is then the players aren't returning to their starting locations exactly. as much. Another mechanic that we're adding onto this, which a lot of people might be familiar with, is we're adding noise into the game permanently. Um, killer scenes will have noise. The noise is going to draw out your new hero, which we'll get into. Um, and we'll, as now that we have supplies, that's going to be a big, a big part of the game now. And, and, and one of the big ideas behind the noise also is, again, playing off of that lore from horror is yeah. that, you know, one of the big things, takeaways from a lot of horror films is people screaming. Yeah. So it's the idea that in these killer scenes and such that we're going to have screaming. We've introduced the new Surge Die um, that some people will be familiar with from, mm -hmm. from the expansions and such, but that'll be in the game. And it's increasingly making it harder to make kills, but also making it more complicated when you're going to make kills. Um, so there was a mechanic that we were really, really excited to get, get into the, to the full game. And with the addition of noise, um, we're also bringing in weapons yeah. as well. Um, again, this is another mechanic or, or, and component that you've probably seen in some of the expansions or with uh, Escape, Escape from, from Tall Oaks. Tall Oaks yeah. But this felt really important to bring into the core game. Um, and we didn't just want to bring in weapons that you've seen in the other games. We wanted to bring in a fresh new slew of weapons. Mm -hmm. And it's cool because some of the weapons in this game are actually, as much as they're to advantageous to have for rolling, and for performing actions, they can also affect you in that some can slow you down, yeah. some make louder noises, um, you know, some can be used for breaking into locations yeah. and things like that. So um, it's a uh, it's something we're really really excited to uh, bring into the game as well. Another update that we've done is uh, the layout of the profile cards. We've actually updated the, the way it looks so that it now includes um, special abilities right on the profile cards so that everyone doesn't have to go into the rule books and have to read what exactly their ability is. Which also uh, brings us to the fact that we've updated the way that the special abilities are for some of the characters. Yeah, we, we were really, 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 um, after years of playing it, yeah we really wanted to balance it more and make some players um, some players abilities more advantageous and kind of draw back some On players some, some, um, yeah. um, and I mean that was just key to you know after five years of playing the game you know when you first play it and, and you're playing with these abilities it seems okay but after five years you start to see kind of a correlation between who's winning and the ability so exactly. we thought it was a, a good time to also just try to um, you know 
hone that in yeah. and, and, and really and really balance those out. And, and it's cool because some people's has changed completely. Exactly. And and now that we have like weapons and noise and and with the whole not going back to start, for example, ravenous, like we're definitely have to work yeah, his, with him. His, so. his entire thing is yeah. being reworked and and um, I would say his is one that's been completely reworked. Mm -hmm. And I would say that the prom queens has been yep. vastly changed from her originals. Yeah. based on those new mechanics so it's really cool um yeah it's it's something we're we're really excited about because i think it brings a, a new layer to the game with some of the abilities that have been changed it's also just been fun to just go back and look at everyone's uh, everyone's abilities after you know five years of having the game out yeah and that's why it's a director's cut because yeah. we're editing it One of our major component updates uh, in the base game is going to be that we are now doing the knives in plastic. And if you're a, if you're a person who's who's been with us for a long time, you know we've released our own upgrades with plastic chainsaws and plastic hatchets and mm -hmm. things like that. But what we wanted to do, since we were going to be working with our manufacturer on this, is do something really special with the knives. So. Um, we worked with them. This is kind of a, a pre-mold of, of what we'll be using. Um, we still are doing some edits to this, but one of the nice things about this is it's gonna it's a really nice finish. It's gonna have a nice edge to it, so it's like a real knife, which we're really excited about because it's just those little details that are really cool. There's nice holders inside the slot for the profile card um, that'll help keep the cards straight and still. And then the big difference is, is that we're actually gonna be able to, with our manufacturer, do screen printing on right. top. So it's gonna have a beautiful uh, a nice texture to, to the whole finish. Um, so this is really exciting because I think it's gonna be a really nice upgraded piece and upgraded component for the game. So another addition that we have in the game um, is a new hero, uh, Linda, who is gonna be the slasher's main enemy. Um, and we bring her out by noise, as you would be familiar if you played the expansions or Escape from Tall Oaks, it works the same way, um, but with some slight changes. Um, you have your hero meter, uh, and yeah, the slashers have to be careful. And, and part of the cool thing with her is that um, we didn't want to just do a basic... Um, hero, like yeah. Burton and, and, uh, and Morrison. Morrison, yeah. yeah. We wanted to kind of spice it up with her um, and really kind of give her like a cool backstory and stuff. So mm -hmm. one of the cool things with her that you're gonna see as you play the game is one, if you lose to her, she has a few more consequences to her than just losing energy or losing souvenirs. But two, um, she's got a dark side to her. Um, and you're gonna bring this out with new supply cards that you accidentally draw when you're searching locations. Um, and what those, those supply cards are actually gonna do is when you accidentally draw what's called a full moon, it's gonna change her. Um, and it's gonna change her for a period of time during the game. So, you know, your hero token will flip over and it'll be a full moon so you know that it's her. She'll actually turn into a werewolf. Um, and it's gonna raise her stats. It's gonna make her harder. It's gonna make her scarier on the board. Yeah. Um, and part of the thought process behind this is, is like, you really wanna make this character not just feel like a final girl character, but also, um, you wanted to raise the stakes and make her kind of on an equal plane with these slashers so that the enemies like, you know, really feels frightening to them. Um, so that's kind of where that came from. Yeah, also we know that a lot of you really love the beast in uh, the Black Mask and you wanted a, a werewolf in the game and now you, you'll be able to play as one. Yeah, and the, and the cool thing with her is that um, also if you are a person who owns the Black Mask, you'll actually be able to have beast first beast yeah. situations <laughs> and things, so that'll be a lot of fun. Along with a slew of other upgraded components, another thing we're adding to the game is we're gonna be adding new tokens to the game. Um, and part of the thought process with this is with these, we're able to add some new mechanics to the game. So the first token that we're gonna be adding is the runner token. This will be hidden amongst all the other scene tokens. So when playing this, uh, this version of the game, one of the things we're gonna have is that you're gonna keep all tokens face down. So when you move them into locations and restock the board, you're not gonna really know what lies underneath. Um, and what's gonna happen is, is if you draw a runner token, you're actually gonna just lose the kill. So it'll be a lot like in a scene in a movie where you, the slasher has think, thinks they've, they've killed the, um, the victim and then the victim gets up and starts running off again. Um, so that'll be a cool twist, um, especially for when people are like making their double kills and things like that. That'll be a lot of fun. 
Then the other token we've brought into the game that's not really gonna be part of the scenes, but it's gonna be brought out based upon bonus tracks, based upon the hero and things like that, is going to be uh, the lock token. And what this is actually gonna do is when you draw one of those, the token's actually gonna be moved over the entrance of the, of the board and um, on different locations. And to get in, you're going to need a certain amount of actions or you're gonna need a, we a weapon or we have supplies in the game like keys and things. That can break it open, um, yeah. And the idea behind this again is the idea that we constantly go in, we, we're constantly watching horror films and we wanna continually introduce more of the yes, elements you see tropes, in the movies. Yeah. Where, so this is kind of the breaking and entering kind of sequence mm -hmm. for a lot of things. So it's also cool because it'll make it harder and lock people off from certain locations, making it harder to clear the board and restock. Um, so this will be a lot of fun. So another fun thing that we're adding are uh, 10 new R-rated deleted scenes, uh, which are kind of like your killer scenes, but these will be gorier, dirtier, and more much fun. more fun. <laughs> much more fun to play with. Yeah. So yeah, uh, we have a lot in store for you, uh, and they'll, they'll be Keep them away from the kids. Yeah, these okay. these these will definitely be cards that we you probably don't want the kids looking at. But that's no. that's kind of the fun of this is that we wanted to um, you know, it's a it's a horror yeah. board game. So you want some elements in the game that are a little more edgy and a little more raunchy. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of the idea behind these cards, and uh, I think it's going to add a little fun to it. And you know, it can't be a director's cut without some deleted scenes. No. So here it is. Um, another thing we, we addressed when balancing out the game was the killer scenes and the bonus tracks. Yeah. What we wanted to make sure we were doing there is with the introduction of weapons, with the updating of special abilities um, and things like that, we wanted to make sure that those cards were a little bit harder yeah. um, for people to de uh, to uh, defeat or, uh, or, or conquer. Um, they're, they're definitely moving a lot faster now too, so they're, we definitely needed to make updates with a lot of the cards that you know, take you certain places and you know, we're not making this easy. <laughs> yeah. Um, so with the killer scenes, you know, either you're going to see that some are more rewarding, yeah. but also take more actions to defeat. Right. Um, sometimes you'll probably need a weapon to help you to exactly, defeat a lot yeah. of them. Um, and Some with, have noise now, now that we have supplies um, and you gotta defeat those, you, you gotta make sure you have some good weapons in hand. Um, yeah, and with the noise, uh, again, more ways to bring out the hero and make it a little more yep. um, uh, players versus uh, NPCs. Um, and then with the bonus tracks, mm -hmm. we wanted to balance those out. Um, we wanted some to be a little less chance and right. more just like helpful or ones that would cause more um, event-based kind of actions um, and kind of and drive you to to do certain things. A um, right. little less just sending people to locations. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Especially with the speed you have now, yeah. it's it's unnecessary. So um, it's kind of cool because y even though you own the old game. Um, a lot of those cards, we've addressed those and updated those to, you know, just to make them uh, more fun. Mm -hmm. Another thing um, we wanted to address was dice combinations. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of dice combinations specific to uh, killer scenes that involve victims. Right. What we wanted to do was spread that out across the game um, and allowing for unique combinations to be beneficial or negative based upon certain situations you're in. So besides just having dice combinations for um, the uh, when you can attack, we also now have them in for, for defense. defense yeah. um, and some of those uh, example of a dice combination that can help is if you roll the triple fists on a defense card, mm -hmm. not only are you gonna bury the card and defend yourself, but you'll have a chance to draw another killer scene on the same turn. Yeah. Um, and things like that, you know, uh, we're addressing the same things in brawls and making some, some combinations a little more unique. Um, and this is just to further, you know, uh, allow for a little different gameplay when, when, when addressing those uh, situations. Yeah, we're not going to let uh, good triplets go to waste, <laughs> you know. We're going to actually make them count this time. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. They're not all just going to just go by the wayside. No. So we hope you enjoyed that mini uh, walkthrough of the new game. Um, and we're definitely going to have more info in the rule book, obviously. 
we'll go more into more detail and as well as in the campaign. Um, yeah, and you know, uh, we hope you are as excited about these updates as we are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we wanted to make sure that it's been five years that with doing a director's cut that we included enough and updated enough that it felt special and you know was was a way to celebrate five years of the game. Um, so we're really, really excited yeah. for it and we hope you are too. Uh, we really appreciate you guys checking out the video and um, if you're as excited as we are about this game, please go back to campaign right now. Back it, <laughs> now. <laughs>